Hey everybody, welcome to another Photoshop tutorial, and this one's gonna be uh, gonna be it's like a two-part series uh, because this one has to do with something I like to call fantasy photography, and it's really just a fancy phrase for uh, compositing. Uh, and I'm kind of getting into a little bit of compositing, but I'm getting into kind of like a real life, uh, real life compositing stuff, and and trying to make things look as real as possible. And so for this tutorial, what I'm gonna do is take this photo here that I took at the beach. And I'm going to convert it into sort of like a, a mountain lake uh, photo. And uh, you can see the final result here. Now, as you can see, there's a lot of elements in there. There's a sun, there's a there's mountains, there's fog. Um, and so all of that stuff is going to be added in uh, into Photoshop uh, and, and using um, only one outside photo. And that is this photo right here. And so I'm, I'm going to take that photo, put it in the background, and then all the other elements I'm going to create using only Photoshop. And that includes the sun and the fog. So let's go ahead and get into it. And, and since it's going to be a two-part series, the only one I'm going to concentrate, now, uh, concentrate on now is the mountains in the background. And then if you're looking for the part two of this, uh, click here to go to part two and you can uh, and you can see the, the final result on how to get the uh, the final elements. So let's go ahead and get started. The first thing I'm going to do is go ahead and take this uh, mountain photo here and just drag it onto the other photo. And as you can see, it's a little small, so I'm just going to transform it to I can uh, so I can get the, the right dimensions here. Just kind of stretch it across the whole photo just like that. Save the changes, and uh, we're going to lower the opacity a little bit so I can kind of see where to match the horizons up. As you can see, the horizon for this photo is right here, and for my photo, it's way back here. So I'm just going to kind of try to uh, roughly match those up. All right, now I can uh, take the opacity back up, and now I'm going to do a uh, adjustment layer so I can kind of get rid of this area right here, this, uh, this the, the lake part of it. I just want the mountains. So I'm just going to take the adjustment layer, and I like to do a lot of stuff manually with this. So I'm going to just get a, a nice big brush that's, uh, that's kind of feathered, shrink it down just a little bit, and use the black color on my paintbrush so I can paint away some of this. So as you can see, I got the black and it's just kind of painting it away. So just kind of take it away, just kind of like you're painting. And if you're new to uh, adjustment layers, there this is this is exactly how easy it is. You can do a lot of stuff with adjustment layers, and they're really easy, uh, really easy to to learn. So um, now, as you can see, I kind of took away this part right here. I want to bring that back. So now I'm going to switch my color to white. And since I have my brush feathered, I'm going to do a, uh, since my, and my horizon is pretty level, uh, I'm going to click once here, and then I'm going to hold shift and click on the other end. And then what that'll do is draw a straight line all the way through. So now I can just take this, kind of do the same thing if I wanted to, and just bring all that back. All right. I may go ahead and... Get a little bit more. There we go. That's kind of what I want. All right, so we got our mountains in, so that's what it kind of looks like there. Big difference. Now you can you can also notice one problem we have. Uh, the colors are completely different from the uh, the original photo and the new photo, and. Uh, there's uh, there are many many ways in Photoshop to do uh, color adjustments and color matching and stuff, uh, but I like to do it manually just because um, it gives me more control, makes me feel like I'm I'm in control of the whole photo, and so the way I'm going to do it is I'm going to do a color balance uh, adjustment layer. So I'm going to click on the little adjustment layers down here and go to uh, let's see where's it at? I just found it. Color balance. And here I'm going to mess with the midtones, the shadows, and the highlights to try to get this color to to, to match, um, to match the the original photo. It doesn't need to be perfect because I'm going to do final adjustments after everything is added in uh, to blend it in a little bit more. But I'm just trying to get as close as I can. So with the midtones, I'm just going to kind of play around. Oh, and I, I also forgot one thing. Uh, I only want to clip it to where it uh, messes with this photo and not this one. And the way you do that is in between your uh, color balance and your uh, uh, background layer, uh, hold shift, and you can see your cursor changes from a, a, a box with an arrow pointing down. And that will clip it. So now on, the only adjustments you make are going to be to the uh, the top one, see, like that. 
So I'm just going to kind of mess with this and see if I can get some different uh, different variations here. You can see it's already just with those two little things, it's already coming together. But I'm still going to mess with the highlights and try to bring it in a little bit better, kind of give a more reddish right around there. See what the shadows will do for us. Shadows will bring it in a little bit more. Okay, so I'm liking the way this is going. I don't want to add too much green. I like the way this is going. I like the way this looks. Uh, it doesn't match completely, but that's what we uh, that's what we were talking about in the beginning. Uh, it kind of looks like it does look like it's a little faded to match this. Uh, so this is going to match perfect with the uh, the final adjustments that we're going to do later on. Uh, if we wanted to try to get if we you know if we were if we were wanted to to go ahead and make this photo just you know just the sky and the uh, the the lake, uh, what we could do is kind of get a warming uh, a photo filter here, clip that again as well, and just kind of warm it up like that. Um, you know, it's just kind of all what you, no matter what you want to do. Um, I'm going to go ahead and leave it like this and, but this will be pretty much moved to the top to, uh, to do the final adjustment. So, uh, that is part one of the tutorial here. And, uh, I'm going to go ahead and just to stay a little organized. I'm going to group these together. I'm just going to select all three and click command G or control G on a PC and take the group. And I'm going to name this mountains. So that way I can keep my uh, my stuff organized here, so you can see the difference between there. All right, guys, uh, if you uh, if you want to see part two, head on over to, to to click the link on the screen there, and it'll take you over to part two of the tutorial, and you can kind of see where we get all the other fun elements added in. Uh, thanks for joining me for this uh, video, and I will see you guys in the next video.